Did you know that you could do color grading tasks on a productivity monitor? I know you didn't. We didn't know either. Until we started using this monitor. So a lot of you probably remember this one, but those who don't, this is the 32 inch ultra fine ergo monitor from LG. Now, let me be clear, this is not a color grading monitor. It doesn't have the high-end specs you'd expect from a pro-level screen. But that's exactly why I'm here to talk to you about it. Also, I get it, you're probably sitting there scratching your head, wondering, isn't this supposed to be a camera channel? Yes, we do review cameras. But let's be real, every shot we take needs a little TLC. And by TLC, I mean messing around with white balance, saturation, curves, brightness, and a whole bunch of other things that sound fancy but are critical to getting that picture-perfect result. Hope you are not confused about the title after this. But if you are, it's probably because you pro-level folks are sitting there thinking, are they seriously telling me I can color grade with this monitor? Well, don't worry. We're not going that far. You see, we knew from the start that this monitor wasn't designed for professional color grading. It doesn't cover the wide color gamut that most pro monitors do. Even though it's factory calibrated, which makes editing kind of easier. But now we realize how much challenge we took as a team back then. Despite its shortcomings, we adapted, using our expertise and a bit of extra effort to get the colors looking as close as possible. In the past few years, we've worked on some semi-pro projects using this monitor, and while we couldn't rely on it for the kind of precise color accuracy you'd get with a 5 grand grading monitor, we still managed to pull off some stunning work. Let me show you a few clips from those projects. Despite everything, they turned out better than we expected. Awesome, right? But let me remind you again that this monitor is great for productivity. It's sharp, and the 4K resolution makes it perfect for tasks that require precision, like video editing and design work. And let's not forget the ergonomic stand, which makes it comfortable to use for long hours. But for professional color grading, precision is key. We're talking about color accuracy, which means that every shade and hue must be rendered true to the original scene. In a professional setting, color grading monitors are designed with color gamuts like DCI-P3 or Adobe RGB, which are much wider than sRGB, allowing for more vibrant and accurate colors. Calibration is also a major thing. It's what keeps your colors consistent across different platforms and ensures what you see on screen matches, what the client sees or what ends up in the final output. But let's be real. Most monitors aren't factory calibrated for color critical tasks like grading. You'll need to spend some time on manual calibration if you want it to be at its best. And if you're not familiar with calibration tools like a colorimeter or spectrophotometer, you might find the process tricky. Sure, you can get good results with some patience, but it's not going to be as easy as turning on a pro monitor and being ready to go. So should you buy this monitor for color grading? Actually, it depends. I mean, sure, it's not designed for color grading, even though it's factory calibrated. You'll run into issues if you blindly rely on it for precision work, because it's only 350 nits and does not meet the basic requirements for color grading. But is it still possible to pull off good stuff with it, even as a pro team? Well, we did. And looking back, we're proud of the work we did with this monitor. If you somehow have this monitor in your setup, Know this again, great productivity monitor. Solid option for general tasks, but for those serious about color grading, you'll need something like the ESO Color Edge or Asus Pro Art. But these are also very expensive if you want to know. Until then, I guess you should just save the bucks and take the challenge of delivering semi-pro results using whatever monitor or monitors you have in your setup for color grading and get better each day. Also, make sure your clients are making payments on time. 
Anyways, do let us know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe if you love our takes on cameras, and tell your friends to subscribe too. See you at the next one.